given. This tutorial is about how to identify a transistor practically. That is how to determine whether it's a NPN or PNP transistor. Moreover, we we can also find its collector base and emitter CB of a transistor as transistor is a three terminal device I know that we can find the orientation of a transistor in Google but if you are sitting in an interview or a practical exam there is no way you can access to the internet so there is a simple technique using a DMM or digital multimeter or ohm meter it is not necessary that uh, as we know that transistor is a three terminal device and it is not necessary that the base would be in the middle every time the orientation mostly is like this but this is not necessary the transistor can be like this also or this B E C so we don't know where the basis and emitter is or collector is so that is why we find using a digital multimeter or an ohm meter ok so let's get started let's take a breadboard and mount a transistor I have taken a BC548 and I will mount it in the breadboard like this if you want to know why I have mounted like this you can go uh, to my previous video, uh, video and watch the uh, introduction to breadboard I have mentioned in the description box I will connect some pins you can see it in that video why I have connected these pins how I have connected these pins because the pins of my digital multimeter is too wide so it would not be inserted in this holes so let's take our digital multimeter and we will switch it to the resistance mode you can take ohm meter also I have taken it in 2000 ohms now what will we do now we will check each terminals and yeah our first step would be to find the base that is B this is because we can if we if we can find base we can determine that it is an uh, NPN it is a NPN or a PNP transistor that means we can hit two objects with one stone so how we will do it first we put the black pin in any of the terminal well I am naming it as 1 2 and 3 I am putting this black pin in terminal number 1 and will check whether putting the uh, red pin if the ohm meter or digital multimeter is deflecting or not ok we are getting a value but that doesn't determine that it is a base 
now touching this pin again black pin in first pin and red pin in third pin I am getting nothing here that means this is infinity I am getting nothing here now let's take the second pin and we will repeat the same process I am getting nothing keeping black pin stationary sorry keeping black pin stationary nothing happens and for the third pin keeping black pin here stationary okay we are getting a deflection but not here our motive is to find the deflection in both ways because base is connected to both emitter and so what we found is when we keep this black pin stationary and uh, variating this red pin we weren't getting anything uh, if we want to find the base there should be both way deflection that means if I keeping this black pin here I would have get here I would have gotten the deflection here and here as well but that's not the case here that means if I am not getting when keeping the black pin stationary this is not a PNP transistor this is how we determine if it's an NPN or a PNP transistor if we are keeping black pin stationary and we get the both way deflection then it's a PNP transistor and let's check with red pin also keeping red pin in first one I'm not getting anything not getting anything keeping red pin in second one I got a deflection keeping black pin in third I got a deflection that means it is a NPN transistor that's how we determine PNP or N we have seen, now we have seen that there was a deflection in point 2 pin number 2 so we can say that it is an NPN transistor moreover there was a both side deflection so our middle terminal is base if I draw the diagram this is our base but still these two terminals are unknown now how to find C our second step would be how to find collector and emitter well this step is very simple the thing we have to do is that we will keep the red pin in the base part if it is an NPN transistor and the black pin if it is a PNP transistor keeping this I will keep this uh, black pin in pin number 1 and measure its resistance it's coming out to be 773 ohms that means resistance between pin 1 2 1 and 2 is 773 ohms now between 2 and 3 it's 784 ohms
well the pin with highest resistance would be the emitter and the low one would be collector so therefore pin number 3 is emitter and pin number 1 is collector that means this is collector and this is emitter for BC 548 well, th well using this procedure you can find the uh, collector base emitter for any of the transistor even PNP and uh, you can identify PNP and NPN part also friends this is a very easiest way or trick to find the uh, collector base emitter of any transistor for example I have taken this BC548 and if you google it you can find that this is collector this is base and this is emitter so that's all and please if you liked my video please subscribe and share thanks